morning, sunshine. What do you I think you call it a pruny? Congratulations. Donna told you my favorite breakfast drink. What does that have to do with the price of tea in Antarctica? Donna also told me that you were pissed because you found out I gave you a client I didn't want in the first place. And you think this is gonna make up for that? No, but I think giving you 50% of McKernan Motors will. What's the catch? The catch is you and I are about to take a road trip to their corporate headquarters right now. You serious? I don't joke about McKernan Motors, and you know that as well as I do. We're going to McKernan Motors, not your senior prom. Why can't we just take the car service? Because we're going to an engine manufacturer. We need to show up with a badass car. How about this little bad boy right here? That's no good. Why the hell not? Because it's not just the two of us. What do you mean? You son of a bitch. You said you and I are going up there. You lied to me. Because if I didn't, you would have never agreed to come. There is no way I'm going. Yes, you are. I don't care if I have to tie you to the roof. By the time we get to McKernan, you and Mike are gonna work your out. Hey, what the hell? What the hell what? This isn't a joyride, Lewis. You don't wanna talk? You're gonna sit in silence until you're ready to talk. You can make me sit in silence all you want, but you can't make me work it out with him. But what can, Lewis? Excuse me? You worked it out with Donna. And Rachel, you lied to Malone for Jessica. What's it gonna take to work it out with me? Mm -hmm. Well, I forgave those people because they were victims infected with the disease known as Mike Ross. Now I'm stuck in the car with patient zero. Okay, outbreak. Patient zero is the first person actually infected with the disease, not the disease itself. And for your information, I'm stuck in the same car as you. At least you don't have to look at the back of your own stupid, fat, balding head. What's so goddamn funny? You two are finally talking. I think you're in the little music. Okay, just don't change lanes. Don't change lanes. Don't, don't, don't. Great, you know what? This is ridiculous. You drive like a savage animal. Lewis, be a man and suck it up. Suck it up? I'm sitting in the death seat. Fine, I'll pull over and you can sit in the back with Mike. Okay, um, I'm not sitting in the back with a fraud. And before you even think of it, you're not putting him up here and sticking me back there. Then what do you want, Lewis? Because there's no way in hell I'm letting you behind the wheel of this car. It's crystal goddamn clear. You and I sit in the back and he chauffeurs the both of us. Whoa, no, um, even if Harvey would agree to that, which I don't Shut think Shut the he hell would. up. You're not talking, you don't get to refuse. I'm not refusing, Lewis. I don't know how to drive. Holy sh What's on your mind, Mike? You look lost in thought. I was just thinking about my grandmother. Took a train trip to D.C. once. <laughs> Played I Spy. That's a nice story, Mike, but we are not playing I Spy. I'll play. It'll remind me of dominating Esther on our trips to see our smelly Aunt Frida. All right, if it'll get you and Mike talking, sure. <clears throat> I Spy a fraud. Probably never even knew his grandmother. All right, goddammit, you got a problem with me, take it up with me, but don't ever talk about my grandmother again. Oh, I forgot. The poor orphan from New York City who I should feel sorry for because he never learned to drive. I'm telling you, watch yourself. Why, because I hurt your feelings? Lewis! I don't care. For all I know, you're probably not even an orphan. Lewis! This sure as hell wouldn't be the first time a con man tried to make that claim. That's enough. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Pull the car over right now. I'm going to beat the shit out of him. Oh. Lewis, fill up the tank. I'll be back. Well? Well what? You heard what he said, fill up the tank. Yeah, I did hear what he said. He said, Lewis, fill up the tank. Well, where I come from is people who didn't go to college fill up gas tanks. And where I come from, you take another step Oh, what, the tough me? kid from the city's gonna beat my ass? Lewis, I'm telling you right now. You ruined my life. You ruined my firm. Lewis! You know he did that on purpose, right? Did what on purpose? 
He asked you to fill the tank because he knew what you'd do. Knew what I would do? What about what you would do? He knew that too. Lewis, you never even said you were sorry. I am sorry, Lewis. Sorry that I lied to you. I'm not a con man, Lewis. Every single other thing I ever told you was true. I want to know something that I never even admitted to myself. I never learned to drive for the same reason I never went to law school. Both my parents were killed in a car accident, and ever since then, I've never been able to get behind the wheel. And then Harvey gave me a license, and I took it. You were 11 years old. I mean, you must have felt so alone. That you said you didn't believe I was an orphan. I looked it up. I had to once I found out that you never went to law school. You mean once you found out that I'm a fraud? You're not a fraud, Mike. Just never went to law school. Okay, Frazier, you get a grape. Ali, I got you a fruit punch. You two work your shit out? I'll take that as a yes. Let's get the hell out of here. 